Welcome back. It's uh, Sunday the 19th of August and finally got the chance in a day to uh, get up here and finish my roof project. So as you can see, I've got this thing wrapped in plastic and uh, I've taped off all the way around the perimeter, front to back, side to side. I removed the covers off the vents and the AC unit, although the AC unit cover does it didn't need to be. I, I wanted to remove that to be able to clean in there while I'm up there. So um, that's what I'm doing today. I've already got my uh, cleaner activator on, which is this uh, Dicor product, the uh, step one for rubber roof coatings. It's a soapy type cleaning solution and supposedly an activator for the next step which is to get up there and clean it with a pressure washer so i'm going to do that uh, it says to leave it at least 15 minutes it's only been 10 i'm going to leave it in, for about 20 minutes actually so uh, a couple other things to do here as i set up and get ready okay this is the pre-treatment look um i did give uh very generous amounts. I, I bought three quarts of that cleaner conditioner and put it on. You can see the condition the roof's in now. And I did get some runoff and you can see how it was pulling the dirt there. Um, the other covers that I pulled off was more for access. and uh, I did get a puddle of it down there, uh, the cleaner activator. It's kind of a soapy solution, but it's got a more of a chemical smell to it. So. It's a unique product, I think. So I need to get uh, the dogs back in the house and get my pressure washer up here. Now that it's, uh, for the most part, dry. Um, and be ready to start uh, pressure washing. I think I gotta do a double coat on, or double rinse on this. I do believe it said, uh, start at the low spot work your way to the high spot and then work your way back. I believe that way you get a complete clean double rinse. So I'm gonna start down here in this little corner. Well, as you can see, my uh, tape didn't make it on the front. I uh, had several rolls of that blue tape, so I didn't go buy the frog tape as they recommend, and that's what I get. So. A little bit of clean out on the AC while I'm here. Okay, you can see all the dirt that was sitting underneath where that uh, antenna was there. And uh, look how nice and clean that's coming up. And I did all these uh, did all these penetrations, uh, the radio antenna, T 
TV antenna and uh, my two roof vents. I put down the uh, uh, sealer tape down first and then I edge sealed that with the die core sealant. Which one lasts longer? I don't know. I've seen both processes done, different versions of it. It's the way I did it. I think it's going to work out well. So I'm going to keep on uh, going forward. And working towards that corner over there. Okay, looks like uh, that's all that needs. Now, the next step's going to be uh, letting it get completely dry. Okay, we're putting this edge, cutting in the edges first before we roll out. This stuff has a, an odor to it, which is, I imagine, like an ammonia type smell that. Uh, All right, started in that front low corner, came up this half, the right side, because this is the low side. I'm going to swing across the back and head back down to the front corner and go down my ladder and let it set for a while. Stuff goes on really well. Um, I haven't yet, I've used about just over a half a gallon on the deck right now, and that'll probably finish half this roof. Um, Should have grabbed my paint stick pole, but I forgot it down on the ground. And once I had it poured out, I had to just get going. So using it the old-fashioned way. It's gonna be a backbreaker. Don't let the breeze fool you. It's 92 degrees out here. It's been uh, a little over two hours. And it says you can do your second coat after it's dry to the touch. Well, this is certainly dry to the touch. And boy, is it looking good. Uh, I'm gonna be getting on here now and doing my second coat this first coat took just under a gallon so I expect that the second coat will actually take even less I've got three gallons don't know if I'm gonna need them all but uh, that's the stuff that I'm using so we'll see how this uh, next one goes I've got a roller and a pole so this one should be a little easier Second coat going down. 
I can see that I'm leaving, I guess, footprints a little bit on here, but it's it's dirt off the bottom of my shoes being left, not uh, not leaving an impression in that first layer. This stuff started getting a skin on it in just a minute or so sitting there. So better put the lid back on that can. Well hell bells. Ah, I just broke the handle off of an old house broom inside there. Back to the old fashioned way. The second coat is dry and I'm walking on it and as you can see it doesn't even leave footprints now so I'm gonna do a third coat because I have just over a half gallon of the two like I said this is a 20 foot long by eight and a half foot wide and uh, they say a gallon goes to 125 square feet but uh, you uh, take a dozen square feet or so out of that for these uh, vents and air conditioner and stuff and two gallons is enough to do three coats I think so I'm gonna do the third coat just because otherwise it's a waste I'll put the vent covers and stuff on tomorrow the uh, blue tape here is this is over the uh, the uh, refrigerator vent and it's just a screen so to keep bugs and stuff out I put tape over it for that so now I'm gonna demask it I'm going to take uh, this masking tape off around the perimeter so that where it does come up on the edge it doesn't it doesn't pull loose and there's that cl nice clean edge I got so we'll see how well that bonds and sticks and go from there Roof is done. I've already been up here today and it's about uh, just a little afternoon the next day. And uh, as you can see, everything's dry. I've walked on it, I knelt on it, I put my hands in it. 
there's no impressions it's very very dry I was able to put my antenna down and my vent covers on I'm thoroughly thoroughly pleased with the outcome of this um, supposed to get rain later today not that that matters but I'm curious to see how well it sheds and uh, whether it holds any any water in the uh, slight texture that's on here so I did have of course that's the low point corner of this where it's sitting right now I, I have it leveled but a little bit low on that side and that's where my water's running off and it must have been morning dew condensation that ran down and puddled right there in that little corner so uh, that's uh, just the only option I have really to let it go over there and uh, so it works well thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't I got more projects coming up with this thing and, and many others